Hello and welcome to this CoolEd video tutorial. In this video we will show you how to set up the PE800 with the PE6501-8 trigger box within Metamorph software. The PE6501-8 allows triggering of all the 8 LEDs in the PE800 using a single cable connecting the two together. The LED irradiance is determined from the CoolEd library software. Once the PE800 is connected to the PE6501-8, turn on the light source and plug in both USB cables. The one connecting the P6501-8 to the computer that allows for triggering, and the one directly from the P800 to the computer, allowing control of the LEDs via the Lightbridge software. When the USB is plugged in, the computer will attempt to locate a driver file. If one has been previously installed, you'll get the following pop-up. If no compatible NI driver file has been previously installed, a pop-up may be displayed saying there's no driver found. Download the driver for the P6501-8. Head to the NI website at ni.com. Under the NI driver downloads, go to NIDAC MX. From here, select the latest version and download the file. Once downloaded, run the file and run through the steps in the setup and install the program. This can take several minutes to install and your computer will require restarting once completed. If not already done so, Metamorph now also needs to be downloaded and installed from molecular devices. Follow the in install steps from Metamorph to complete this. To operate the LEDs, the Lightbridge software can be opened. This should accompany the P800 on a memory stick or can be downloaded from the CoolEd website. Lightbridge can adjust the individual irradiance of the LEDs independently of software. Well, this is where the irradiances are set when being triggered by the P6501-8. Once Metamorph and Lightbridge have both been installed, we now need to configure the P6501-8 within Metamorph, firstly by going to Meta Imaging Series Administrator. From here, select Configure Hardware. In this tutorial, I've already added a demonstration camera but if you have a camera to use, set this up now in Configure Acquisition. To configure the P6501-8 and the P800, select Install System Devices. As the P6501-8 is from NI, scroll down until we find National Instruments NIDAC. Select this and install. Here you should see the digital I.O. bank and eight shutters appear for the eight different LEDs. Click Apply and OK. Now go to Configure Devices. You should see the National Instruments device is available as well as any other selected previously. Click on this and click Add. And again, you should see the Digital I.O. Bank and the eight shutters available. To test the shutters, double click on a shutter, for example, shutter 3, that controls a 470 nanometer LED and the Open the Shutter Control dialog. If you have an irradiance set for this, you can now toggle the shutter on and off and you should see the light for the 470 nanometer triggering on and off. Done and OK. Once back to this screen, click Apply and OK again and OK and once more to exit the configuration. We're now ready to open Metamorph. Upon opening Metamorph, we're going to go to Devices and Configure Illumination. Here you can define settings for which LEDs you want triggered in any experiments you may want to create later. The different shutters correspond to the eight different LEDs. So shutter 1 is a 365 or 400 nanometers, depending on if you have the SB or MB version of the P800. Shutter 2 is a 435, 3 is the 470 nanometers, 4, 500 nanometers, 5, 550 nanometers, 6, 580 nanometers, 7, 635 nanometers, and 8 is a 740 nanometers. So here we can tell the software which LEDs you want to come on under different settings. For example, let's set up a DAPI setting. From here, we can tell we want shutter 1 to be open 
and active. As Shutter 1 corresponds to our DAPI LED 365 on this system, this is the only one we want open. All the other shutters should remain unchecked or closed. Once done, we can click Add and DAPI comes under our defined settings. We can now do the same for Fitzy. So uncheck the DAPI one and we're going to turn on Shutter 3 for the 470 nanometer LED and Active. Add and again comes under Define Settings. The same for Tritzy. Select the 550 nanometer LED or Shutter 5 and Active. Again, clicking Add. Once all the predefined settings you have have been created, click Close and these are now ready to be used in an experiment. Before setting up the experiment, the irradiance of the LEDs can be adjusted in the Lightbridge software. So we want the DAPI, the FITSI, and the TRITSI. To run an experiment, go to Apps and Multidimensional Acquisition. To find the settings required in terms of the experiment, where to save it, and any other parameters. Under the Wavelength tabs, you can choose how many wavelengths you want to use. In this case, we're going to go for three, DAPI, FITSI, and TRITSI we just created. Go to each of the wavelengths defining the illumination from our previously created settings. DAPI for this one, and again, change any parameters you may want to. FITSI and TRITSI. Once set up, we can go to Summary, and under here we can select Acquire. You should see the LEDs you've selected triggering in order of preference from the Wavelength tab. Once the experiment is complete, the images can begin to be analysed. Thank you for watching this Cool Ed video tutorial.